two JG MP5. So I've already done one. Uh, that one already had some work done to it by an SF site local to me. Uh, apparently it wasn't working properly, but um, I gotta be honest, I didn't even pull the trigger. If I'm taking it apart anyway, I don't think I need to. So, it's got an option one brushless motor in it. It's the first one I've encountered, seems to work. Motor pinion was a bit chewed up and I've kind of had to leave it that way because I've n I'm not gonna take apart an expensive motor that I've never taken apart before. Gears have been changed out, but the rest of it is uh, as is my normal build, blah, 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 and here's how she fires. Three shot burst. Decox. But before I talk about the other one, which is a completely standard JG, that's going to be amusing because. Fuck, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll be able to hear all those seagulls in the background. That's really interesting uh, because the closest thing we've got to see around here is a river quite far away and a puddle where the Rottweiler took a piss earlier on. So that's basically it. I don't know why we've got them, but I like seagulls. I think they're cool, so that's fine by me. Delivery. So I've got some more motors in. Just a few. Didn't want to go mental, because that'd be silly. But what's so special about these? Ooh, it comes with methamphetamine. Lovely. 35 Ks. Lovely what? fuck you. Lovely wires. Mmm. And what's this? Oh shit! Fuck me, right? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Long story short, the amount these motors cost versus what you get out of them, it's fucking, it's a no-brainer to me. Now, I am going to be keeping motors in stock, regular old brush motors, because there are times when people can't afford that kind of stuff. But anyone who wants a real proper decent build, DMR build, uh, snappy rate of fire build, or they want to be using their gun with lots of semi-auto, this is the way to go. I am officially transitioning over to brushless motors in case you can't fucking tell. So I do have some brush motors left, but uh, between these and these, there are no two better things you can put in your gun. There really fucking isn't. I mean... Perrin's V2 hybrids are absolutely astounding. They're fucking astounding. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. It shits all over other MOSFETs. It really fucking does. That's why I've got bollock loads of these as well. I combine it with these, fucking hell. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Now I've got to put them away on the fucking shelf. Where am I going to put them? This here is a completely standard JG MP5 SD5. This is a level one battery, completely standard. So let's see what I can do with it. All done, it was a fucking nightmare, but it turns out it had a fucking AK nozzle in it. And obviously when you think the gun is brand new, you don't realize there's a fucking AK nozzle in there. So you don't bother measuring the fucking nozzle. So I couldn't get any more than about 220, 250 feet per second. Anyway, it's all done. It's got a brand new hot rubber. It's got an extended barrel that came out of a bits box. The motor is completely standard. The gears are completely standard. I've short stroked them by two. The spring is an M125 and it fires as a normal JG would. Safe. Semi. First fire. And then decock. There is no pre cocking on that. In fact, I don't think we've got active brake turned on. But there we go. Cheap, 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 cheap. Basically, he's paid for a spring, a MOSFET, and a hot rubber. So, yeah. And my time, obviously, because, you know. I am a prostitute in that regard. Now I'm going to try and convince him to spend money on a better motor because um, it is the most basic four quid Chinese motor. Definitely needs a better one. Right, I'm going for a Tom tier. Yeah, he wants a motor. 
But how easy is it to fit one of these new motors? Well, let me show you. Not going mentally this one, 27k. Methamphetamine, springy, motor. 638 Loctite. Undo and remove the grub screw. Yep. Pinion. Make sure you don't get Loctite in that little tiny bearing collar. More thread lock. In we go. Tight. Remove excess. Give that a little bit of drying time. Bit of grease on the pinion, bit of grease on the spring, bit of grease on the shaft. In it goes. One, two. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Pop that on there. Plug in. Gun blinks at you. Ready to go. Semi. First fire. Quite a difference, right? Right then, what's next? Oh! Buy my fucking patches, you pricks. Look at that, fucking C-clips on them now, look. There you go. That's the way to do it. Fucking rubber rings and shit. Now I know for a fact this gun is completely brand new. Remember kiddies, TM, JG, small screw, small screw, big screw, with plates, yeah? That's why, ah, right. So, in the pain in the ass one, which was this one, there was sticky shit all over the outside of the gearbox. It's from the tape. I knew that gun had been apart. It's a fucking front wired gun gone to rear wired. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it had been taken apart. Look at that. Yeah? I fucking knew it. Did you know if you're just playing CQB, you don't have to change your barrel or hot rubber? Ha, the more you know. You can, you'll get better accuracy. You won't get any better range. And let's face it, you're shooting cunts in the fucking dark. You ain't gonna know where your BBs are going anyway. So save some money. You can keep that standard. JG nozzle, 21 flat versus the other one. No. Now this one isn't getting a MOSFET. We're gonna see if we can go without the MOSFET and just use the brushless motor. If we can do it that way, we will do it that way. JGs do tend to be a little bit fussy. If you creep the trigger on semi, you might get double taps. It's just the way they are, one of those things. But we're gonna see if we can do it without. And there you go. 
another JG MP5. Something I completely forgot about is these have um, adjustable spring guides. So if you've got a 2.5 screwdriver Allen head thingy, you can adjust the power. With it fully all the way in right now, this gun's doing around the 315 mark on a 0.2, but that is hopping a 0.25. So it's about 0.98 joule. So as close as damn it to a one joule limit, which is great for CQB. And again, CQB 0.25, you don't need more than that anyway, but it can hop more. Loads more in fact. But if you want to bring that all the way down, you can do. Completely forgot about that. Now, because I've put the Golden Eagle stock on this, because he wanted the solid stock, he's going to put the flashlight front end on. I have just taken the wiring, which normally sits on the side of the gearbox at the front, and I've thrown a nice green beams connector on there. No MOSFET. We've got a regular old set of 18 to 1 CNC gears, internal bearing. We've got a new piston, piston head, cylinder, cylinder head. Cleaned it all up, shimmed nicely, and I've knocked two teeth off of the sector gear. One from the front, one from the back. That means on M120, it's giving me that lovely power. But what's it like without any kind of MOSFET? Like I said before, JGs do suffer a little bit. After a while, the cutoff lever's wearing out and you tend to get a little bit of double tapping going on. But, with the warhead motor inside it, doesn't seem to be happening. And again, this gun's brand new. That might become prominent. It might become prominent, I don't know. But because the way the warhead works with its fancy little computers and shit, it has the same effect as active brake. It's a perfect start stop. So shouldn't get too much of an issue. I even crept the trigger a little bit really slowly to see how far we could go with it. But this is how she fires. There's ammo in the mag. And I'm shooting an old towel. It's my uh, rotten cummy spunk towel there, isn't it? And on semi-auto. And full auto. Fucking lovely. Even if I creep it. Still perfect. So that's fucking ideal. Technically, don't need the MOSFET with the active brake and all that kind of stuff in there, but I dare say after a little while, this gun with this switch assembly and anti-reversal and cut off, I dare say it might require it at some point. But for the time being, ready to go. And because it's got the Golden Eagle stock on it, don't take the fucking butt pad off because it's more like the real thing that is permanently on there. There's no chance of that falling out or coming out. That is really in there nicely. And you have to use a full length pin to go all through the back. But your battery then goes inside the stock and that slides on that way. But anyway, what's next? Ah, uh, for 